Hey everybody, today I'm going to be looking at Fedora 19, Schrodinger's Cat, which I just downloaded yesterday. So let's have a quick look around, shall we? Now I've got a... Let's take a look at the applications pre-installed here. comes with Firefox rather than the um, GNOME uh, web player or web uh, browser. Uh, videos. I added um, GNOME M Player for the video capture. Uh, Nautilus browser. Let's take a look at Nautilus really quick. Of course, the uh, always ugly and disgusting uh, GNOME icon set. I think that they should probably win an award for having the ugliest possible icon set on the planet. But outside of that, uh, default GNOME tries to uh, simplify the uh, the w experience of the uh, for the user. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of them removing the whoops. Let me pull that back down. Removing the minimize and maximize buttons. Although you can maximize by hitting home, you can go back up here and drag it back down. Although that's not terribly obvious if you're a new user to GNOME 3. Um, not so sure if I'm a fan of them putting all their menu items in that little gear there, but you know that's that's okay, I suppose. You get used to it eventually. It just gets a little odd when you go into other applications, say their video uh, application, and you know they still have a traditional menu layout. Um, I would think that they would be trying to uh, synergize this stuff at the GNOME project, but uh, um, maybe they're just not quite there yet. And GNOME 3 has been out for a while now, a couple years, but um, they can only do what they have funding and the availability to do. Although I wish they would focus on things that the GNOME audience would prefer. Let's see, what else we got? We got the software package manager for Fedora, of course. Take a quick look. So you can go ahead and look up stuff like, uh, I don't know, see if they got Audacity available. You could do that instead of uh, using the terminal. Take a look, quick look at Firefox really quick. I wanted to show you guys how you can extend the uh, usability of Firefox. I know uh, um, it is a uh, free and open source distribution that tries to get people off of using things like Flash, but even then there are programs like FFmpeg and um, mplay. Well, FFmpeg specifically is not available from their own repository. So you go over into rpmfusion.org and you can get instructions on adding both free and non-free repositories. Uh, you know, at this point, the only non-free software I'm using on my laptop would be the uh, the Wi-Fi um, uh, firmware for the Intel uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, outside of that, I'm trying to use nothing but um, uh, open source and free software. Take a quick look at the uh, Fedora website where you can get Fedora and uh, Fedora Schrodinger's Cat again was just released recently so you can go there and download either the 64-bit uh, or 32-bit. There's also spins for LXDE, KDE, and XFCE. You can go even further and go into the um, individual spins for security, the design suite, and uh, uh, so a spin. I'm going to guess that's for education and uh, electronics lab. Um, my thoughts on uh, Fedora. I like the panel. Well, not Fedora, but actually GNOME. I actually do enjoy using Fedora. I find it to be surprisingly more stable than uh, Ubuntu 13.04 uh, has been. They keep uh, simplifying all these panels, but of course GNOME Tweak will allow you to go back in and add stuff.
but by default GNOME is pretty uh, pretty bare bones uh, as far as uh, what kind of customization you can do. It's it's not like F XFCE where you can uh, customize the heck out of it uh, super easily. So let's see here, what else do we got going on? Let me show you guys one other thing. I decided to add Ganache it's rather than Adobe Flash. And one thing, and I was really impressed that uh, videos seem to play um, pretty decently in um, Ganache, whereas before, uh, not so much. Let's take a quick look. A lot of people don't make their vi uh, videos Creative Commons, so the HTML5 preview would be unavailable. Um, so I have to resort to using Ganache. I would prefer HTML5. It does seem to load a little bit slower at the beginning. But once you get going, what I discovered is that uh, 720p and 1080p is now functional. So although it looks a little bit choppy at the moment, let me restart the video, it does look a little bit choppy at the moment. That's probably because I'm screencasting. Still, uh, you know, Ganache is a good substitute for Flash. You can always go in and remove it again. Of course, to um, and just do a simple Fedora Ganache search, you'll find some instructions on installing it. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, Fedora has always been very simple and uh, basic. They don't try to reinvent the wheel with their distribution. They try to keep things as uh, free and open source as possible with a few expectations, uh, uh, a few uh, 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 like working Wi-Fi. Um, some people have criticized, criticized Fedora for not doing enough in one area or too little in another area. I see that they're somewhere middle of the road between Ubuntu and uh, the Free Software Foundation in their um, in their beliefs. You know, they want to give you as much free software as possible and make it a little bit more difficult for you to install non-free software, but not nearly impossible as uh, Triscale and some of the other uh, distributions would be. Uh, Fedora is cutting edge, so if you have a uh, a brand new machine and uh, the Linux kernel supports your hardware, then uh, Fedora would be a, a pretty good choice. I mean, they do only release every six to seven months, but they tend to adopt the uh, the most recent kernel when they release. Anyway, I'd like to th see what you guys think about Fedora. Go ahead and uh, leave some comments in uh, the forums, and uh, take it easy. Bye.